Imagine a drill that helps to improve your balance. That at the same time, it helps to keep your weight back. Imagine the same drill helps you to keep your, your shoulders closed off and you're not flying open. Imagine the same drill helping you to keep your arm in a slot all at the same time. Oh, by the way, the same drill is gonna help you to keep your hand under the bat and palm over the bat at the moment of the impact so you're not rolling over or popping up. Imagine a drill that, that stops you from dipping uh, too much uh, in your batting sequences. Imagine a drill doing all this. Imagine a drill that helps you to keep your hips and shoulders in order so you're not turning your hips too soon. And can you imagine a drill that's gonna stop you, the same drill that's gonna do all this from, from chicken winging your elbow up too soon. And can you imagine the same drill that's gonna stop you from lunging out of the ball? Too far fetched to imagine, right? No, it's not. I have been a baseball researcher, baseball trainer, baseball developer for the past 22 years. And before that, I was still researching it as a player because I want to improve my own skills. I have been up and down the avenue with, with the, the, all the drills, from the, for batting tees to short bat drills to, you know, swinging the bat against the net or swinging against the fence. And I, I've really come to learn that even these, all these gadgets, the, the, uh, the device with the, the little clicker at the end of it, they're really just gadgets. They don't really prepare the player enough for what's really going to happen in the game to what he really trusts and relies upon. But this drill helps the hitter understand formulas that really make hitting work. The reason why it works is because the drill is based upon years and years of study and research combining techniques together to help you understand how the right brain hemisphere kicks into gear for baseball players. What you do with your right brain hemisphere, it helps to man manage your spatial awareness and helps to, to cognitively uh, help you to manage your, your deceleration side. The keys to this drill is managing the deceleration side of the hitter's swing. We can, we can mechanically, as most people, coaches call it, or I like to prefer to call it movement-wise, we can control any baseball player's movement, swing movements, based upon the deceleration side of the swing versus the acceleration side of the swing. Things become very, very confusing for a hitter when he has got to think about where's my elbow, where's my shoulder, how about my front knee? Don't forget, stay underneath the ball with your handle, top hand on top of the bat, um, oh, by the way, don't forget to watch and see the ball. That's just way too confusing. The beauty of this best ever drill is that it helps the hitter manage all that stuff beforehand, before he hits the ball, and just gets to his deceleration side, his slowdown side. Because how you slow down in the swing ultimately affects how you speed up in the swing. How you decelerate in your swing affects how you accelerate. This is why this drill works so great and doesn't confuse the hitters. It is amazing, and I'm not making this up. I mean, I just love it. I'm so excited about this drill, and I want you to have it. Most people who have been following language you're hitting for the last four or five years know that I'm a big believer in timing. I'm a big believer in managing space. But there does come a time when you have to reconstruct the baseball quote unquote, movements, not mechanics. I prefer to believe, leave the mechanics to the auto technicians. The movements is for athletes. We're coaches and we are trying to help other athletes, us being former athletes ourselves, to improve our movements on the field. This is the second edition of the Best Ever Drill. And there has been improvements over the last four or five years with this drill. I'm very excited because you know something works when you put it on a player for the first time and put it on another player and put it on another player and then another player and you see the results of creating a line drive, a line drive and a line drive.
and not just like any line drive. We're very particular. We want to instill in our players to search, to search, to seek out, to create line drives to left center field, right center field, to center field. That's the battle plan for, for good hitters. And if we're not doing that, then we want to find out a ways of how we can go about to reconstruct these, these, these type of, of design and get it done on a routine basis. This best ever drill helps to, you to execute those type of uh, swing pass where you're creating line drives to the left center, to right center, and center field. It helps you ultimately keep the barrel of the bat longer through the strike zone. And obviously we all know that the longer the bat is held in the strike zone, the harder it is to fool that hitter, the less likely it is to, to get you out. And that's why uh, this drill works so, so good. So check it out, go, go to the webpage, get it, it's, it's worth every penny. Trust me, you, you'll see immediate results if you, if, if you execute it properly. And, and also, text me, call me, email me, if you have any questions at all, how to execute this best ever drill. I want to help you out, I'm in your corner. That's why we have language you're hitting, is to help other coaches and players uh, find the research that they're looking for and answers to break out of the normal stream that all these mundane drills we've been doing for decades. Sometimes it works, but it really, really works for players to just sort of just get the ideas of hitting. This really works, and I'm glad you got it, and you're gonna love it. God bless.